Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today I'm here with a video all about how I diffuse my hair. This is exactly my process from beginning to end. I show you exactly what I do to get the volume and definition that I have. So if you're interested in finding out exactly how I diffuse my hair, then definitely keep watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down there before you leave so that you don't miss out on any more uploads. And without further ado, let's get started. So one of the most asked questions that I get on all of my social media is what type of blow dryer I use. So I'm here to show you exactly what I have been using recently. You guys know that I've been using my Diva dryer for, I don't even know, probably two and a half years or so. And I think it's kind of on its last leg. It smells really bad when I turn it on now. So I think that's a sign that it's about to blow up on me. Thankfully, I just got a new blow dryer and I am obsessed. So let me introduce you to my new baby. This is the Onyx Professional Hair Dryer by Irresistible Me. First of all, I love how compact it is. It's super lightweight and easy to hold. Just feels so much lighter in my hand. I feel like I can move it around a lot easier, maneuver it easier. Not only does it have seven heat and speed settings, but it also has an ionic function and an infrared heat function built into this baby. It helps to make your drying time quicker and safer for especially curly hair. There is seven speed settings on this dryer and they're all kind of built in together, the speed and the heat settings. I like to start off with the medium speed and temperature and get my hair about 80% dry and then I'll drop it down to the lower temperature and just trying to get the last bit of it dry but there's also a cool shot. So there's a little button here that you can push and it turns off the heat. You can really set whatever style that you have. And then there's the little button right here that turns on and off the infrared um, heat feature, which helps to reduce drying time and it also reduces damage that a traditional blow dryer can cause to the hair. This dryer has definitely sped up the time that it takes for me to dry my curls and it hasn't caused any additional frizz or anything like that. If anything, I feel like my curls look healthier and shinier and I've just been loving it. Typically my hair takes about 30 to 35 minutes to dry from beginning to end. And with this blow dryer, it takes me about 18 to 19 minutes. I timed it specifically in this video. I will speed up a lot of the drying time because it's very, very repetitive, but it did take me exactly 19 minutes. The only thing that I will say is a drawback to this dryer is that not every diffuser fits on this particular dryer head or dryer nozzle, whatever you want to call it. So I did have to purchase a new diffuser, which I purchased it from Amazon. It wasn't much money. I'll definitely leave it linked in the down bar. It's the Universal Hair Dryer Diffuser. And the reason that this is so awesome, here's what it looks like. You can still fit so much of your hair in there. It dries a lot of hair at one time. It's adjustable. It has this little spring loaded thing. So you can adjust this and fit it on so many different types of blow dryers. This is really, really awesome if you have a really awkwardly shaped blow dryer that you don't think your regular diffusers will fit on. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this and this is what I've been using on this specific dryer and it works amazing. And really quickly, the blow dryer came in this little box right here and it also has two little attachments for specific airflow if you are like blowing out your hair or something like that. I have a collection of them from all of my blow dryers that I don't use. It does have an LED screen so it tells you exactly what's going on, what's on what temperature it's on what setting you have it on and all of that jazz and it also has a magnetic air filter that is removable that you can clean it off really really easily to keep it working at its best anything that has an ionic function is going to help reduce frizz which is great when you have curly hair i say all that to say this dryer has been amazing this blow dryer retails for 139 dollars which i know is really steep but if you are investing in a good quality tool that you're going to be using every single day you are going to get really great results and it will be worth your money the blow dryer is actually on sale right now for 83 dollars and then i have a discount code that's going to save you 20 percent on your first purchase i will leave that 
in the description box and I'll also put it right here on the screen. Now that I've given you all the details about this blow dryer and my handy dandy diffuser, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial on exactly how I diffuse my hair. All right, so let's get this party started. First, let me apologize for the echo because I am doing this voiceover while I'm out of town in a bathroom, so I apologize. But my step-by-step -step process for diffusing, I start with the medium heat and medium speed on my blow dryer, and I just begin to put sections of my hair in the actual diffuser, and I hold it on each section for about three to five seconds. I don't want that section to get overheated, so you definitely want to move the diffuser around you don't want to keep it on one spot for too long at a time. We are trying to avoid heat damage at all costs. So this is how I do it. And I like to flip my head from one side to the other gently so that you don't cause frizz, but I like to flip it back and forth to kind of keep the heat evenly distributed. That way it kind of dries the same all over. And I kind of concentrate on the ends first, and then I start to really lift my sections and get to the roots and really start to dry at the roots. You don't want to skip drying the roots because if you do, you're gonna end up with flat roots and this is how I get all of the volume that I get with my hair. I like to diffuse at the roots with my head flipped upside down, as you can see here. The majority of the time that I diffuse, I do do it with my head flipped upside down so that I can get the most volume at the roots. And this process is very, very repetitive. I just continue to do this by lifting sections, putting it in the diffuser, and holding it for three to five seconds, and just moving on to the next section and then I'll come back to a section if it's not completely dry and just continuing that same repetitive process until everything feels nice and dry. Now, when it's about 80% dry is when I will stop the diffusing and I will go in with a little bit of oil to scrunch into my ends and then I'll diffuse the rest of the way. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. And the biggest tip that I can give you with diffusing is to make sure that you are not raking your fingers through your hair you are just gently lifting section by section and setting it in the diffuser the easier you are with your curls the less frizzy they're going to be and the more shine you're going to have and all of that so here's where i added a little bit of oil and now i'm going back in because my hair is about 80 percent dry and i'm going to dry the rest of the way this time really kind of focusing on the roots where it's still the dampest and the other tip that I have for diffusing is to be patient and really take your time with this. Once my hair is 80% dry when I go in with that oil, when I go to dry the rest of my hair, I do turn the heat down to the low setting and that way I'm not causing any heat damage because most of my hair is dry at that point. And I just take my time to make sure that the roots are completely dry. If you go in and start to shake out your roots and pick out your roots and fluff your hair and it's not 100% dry and you still have wet roots, you're going to end up with a lot more frizz. So just take your time, be patient, and I promise it's worth it in the long run. You'll be able to have beautiful, shiny, bouncy curls, and you're gonna love the results. So here is my final results. It did take me 19 minutes with my new blow dryer to do this entire process. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Make sure to leave me some love in the comments, and I love you guys. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all about how I diffuse or about this blow dryer, definitely leave them in the comments. And of course, leave me your video suggestions. I always love getting your feedback. And that is it. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.